Hi guys, my name is Dr. Paresis and welcome to another video. With oral dutasteride being quite a bit stronger in terms of DHT blockage, myself and quite a few of my colleagues have seen higher rates of side effects with dutasteride over finasteride. And that explains why most patients take oral finasteride instead of dutasteride. But what about taking dutasteride less often than every day? What about taking fewer capsules per week? Is it possible that doing this actually gives more hair gains than taking daily finasteride, but with fewer side effects? Stick around in this video to find out. This study looked at 42 patients with male pattern baldness taking oral dutasteride for 12 months. Of the 42 patients, 12 of them were placed on low dose oral dutasteride, where low dose oral dutasteride was defined as taking three or less capsules per week. So this is the summary of the paper. The first thing is that 66% of the 12 men taking the low dose oral dutasteride therapy experienced an improved hair density over the 12 month treatment period. The final 33% had their hair loss stabilized. In other words, they didn't lose any more hair. Another key point is that none of the patients on the low dose oral dutasteride experienced any side effects. And it was only when dutasteride frequency per week was increased to five times per week that side effects started to be seen. This study suggests that low dose oral dutasteride of three capsules or less per week definitely will stabilize your hair loss, and has a 66% chance of actually improving your hair density. The study also suggests that there's no side effects to be experienced from taking low dose oral dutasteride. One very obvious criticism of this paper is that so few subjects were placed on that low dose oral dutasteride, only 12. So a very small sample size. It also doesn't compare low-dose oral dutasteride to daily finasteride directly. Instead, it compares low-dose oral dutasteride to high-dose oral dutasteride. Since most people are on finasteride, it would be great to have a paper that compares finasteride, daily finasteride, to low-dose oral dutasteride. And that's exactly what we have here. This freshly released 2024 paper looked at 60 patients with male pattern baldness and split them into three groups. Group one was uh, the group of patients that took one milligram of finasteride daily. Group two included 20 male patients that took oral dutasteride two capsules per week. And group three was the group of patients that took three capsules of oral dutasteride per week. Hair density, hair diameter, and side effects were then assessed after a six month treatment period. First of all, all three treatments improved hair density and hair diameter. Dutasteride three capsules per week improved hair density the most, with finasteride one milligram per day in second place. Dutasteride three capsules per week also improved hair diameter the most, and finasteride came second again. Photographic assessment also agrees with these conclusions, where more patients improved moderately and markedly with three capsules of dutasteride per week than in any of the other treatment groups. But what about side effects? Well they were actually roughly the same in all three treatment groups. And surprisingly, it was finasteride that actually appeared the worst in terms of side effects, with one patient actually stopping treatment due to sexual side effects. So overall, this paper suggests that you can get a similar side effect profile with three times a week dutasteride compared to oral finasteride, but about 36% more hair density and a 26% improvement in hair diameter. So what is my opinion of both of these papers? What is my opinion of this research? Well, the first thing I think is that oral dutasteride three times a week works well because of dutasteride's long half-life. I do think that taking a medication three times a week compared to taking, say, finasteride every day is quite a lot easier. For those patients that struggle to take their medication every day, this is definitely gonna be easier. And for patients that wanna save money on taking fewer tablets per week. Three times a week, oral dutasteride definitely beats oral daily finasteride in that sense. I would also like to say that this protocol of three times a week dutasteride is really reserved only for patients, in my opinion, that have been taking oral finasteride without any side effects, without any issues. And that's because it does appear from the research and from my clinical experience, that even at low doses, oral dutasteride is at least as likely to give you side effects compared to oral finasteride. So this is not recommended for patients who are already getting side effects from finasteride. So just to reinforce the ideal patient for this switch from oral finasteride daily to three times a week dutasteride is the patient that wants more hair gains with a similar side effect profile and not already experiencing side effects from oral finasteride.
If you are wondering whether this switch might be appropriate for you, or if you've got any questions related to hair loss, your hair loss journey, if you want to get on the best protocol for you, shoot me an email at drparesis at gmail.com below, and we can get into all of the above so that you can keep your hair for as long as possible.